India beat Australia in the first test match of the summer, and Boomra absolutely dominated the Australian batters. This breakdown is brought to you by the Warehouse Games. Thank you very much for clicking play and watching. If you enjoy these cricket videos, let me know where you're coming from. Where's everyone watching from? The U.S.? India? Australia? England? Where are we? All right, let's take a look at McSweeney, who's on debut for Australia. The first ball, Boomra bowls him, goes in. And he's thinking, okay, that one comes toward me. Okay, noted. The next one, that's going to go away from the batsman. Okay, that one goes that way. All right, that's got to be all he's got, right? No, that one kind of stays true. That one kind of stays straight. He's like, oh, boy. And Broom was like, yep, yeah. Okay, they're all working. We're good. So this is the first ball and the third ball. Look at that. The first one came into him, seemed in, and then it hit him in the hip. And the other one kind of stays true and straightens out a little bit. That is a lot to deal with if you're the batsman. If you're McSweeney on debut and now you're opening against Boomer, that sucks. Look at this spin. Look at the finger. That's the grip on it. Pulls backwards, gets a little angle, and then it just hits the seam. And then he, he seems like he has the ability to control which way it's going to go after the seam. Sometimes you just rip it down, hits the seam, let the ground do what it does. But Boomer this entire time, he seems in complete control of everything the ball is doing, which is fun to watch. So the next ball, Adam again, nice leave. He does the same thing again. Then he goes across. He actually gets four on that one. Congratulations. First Runs for McSweeney, ends the over with another leave. Okay, let's go to the Boomers next over. He's facing McSweeney again. His first ball to McSweeney. He's going to stay where he left off. The ball that just kind of goes, you know, stays true, goes straight. And he's like, all right, that's what he wants. He's going to aim at my off stump. It's going to stay a little true. And he says, no, now I'm going to turbo one right into you. Seam it into your legs. Does he get it? He says, nah, nah, wasn't going to hit. It's going down leg maybe. He's like, Hey, what do you guys think? Asks his teammates. And they're like, yeah, why not? Let's just review it. He wants it. He's the captain. It's his own ball. That's kind of a difficult thing because you always want the wicket. McSweeney comes to Kawaja says, what do you think? And he says, I think you got to go. You think you're going to see you later? And he's like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, you really think so? Yeah, okay, let's take a look. You can see it turning, coming in. He can't get his bat there. He doesn't even have really the spot. The bat's in the wrong spot. It hits him right in the leg. Let's take a look at what it says. And yes, that is hitting the stumps. Wicket, he's gone. He's excited. Yeah, he's not even that excited. You know, it's a kid on debut. That's not a lot for him. He wants, he wants the big guns. Marnus Labuschain comes to the crease next, and Boomer's going to set him up. First, he's going to go the one that seems in. It just darts right into his legs. Then he's going to go the one that stays a little true, straightens out, and, yep, gets the – oh, no. No, he got the edge. He got the catch. He's celebrating. Coley's saying, no, 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 no. And he's like, what? what? You didn't catch it? He's like, uh, no, I put down. No. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 whatever. He's smiling. He knows that he's going to get him later. It actually like hits Coley in, in the wrists and then he can't corral it. And instead of falling and rolling to like his shoulder, he separates his hands to catch himself on the fall, which then leaves the ball unsecured. Look at that. How tight of a spin Hits the seam, straightens out a bit, right into Coley's hands, and then right out of Coley's hands, and everyone's celebrating, and Coley, no, 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 please, don't celebrate, and I'm sorry, don't celebrate, and I'm sorry. Last ball of the over to Marnus, and he searches for the same thing, doesn't get it. Now, next over against Marnus, he swings one away to start, and then he comes right at him, able to get blade on it, and then swings one away. And then comes right at him. And did they get him? They want it. They're asking. Coley's running. He's like, come on. Did you see? I dropped one. I need this. We need this. I just put one down. Come on. Come on for me. No? All right. Good call by the umpire there. That one was going high. And I think Marnus remembers that in the second innings. Keeps at it with the over. Stays there. 
right at him and just goes right at him. Just a tough day. They're like, we get that one? No. So let's move on away from Arnis because he actually doesn't end up getting Arnis. He just bullies him later on. I'll show you. The next victim was Kawaja, who did get some runs off him. The lefties seemed to have a little bit of an easier time. And that one, ooh. Boomer says, okay, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to put that one in my back pocket and remember. We're going to go away from it for a little bit. And then you're not going to expect it. I'm going to come back because that one just nips away, right? So he does one that comes into him. And then the next ball throws another one that comes into him. And he's got to play defense. And then goes back to the same ball and gets the edge this time. What I tell you? I was going to come back to it. You know, you just got to read it a little bit. This, so this is the first ball and the second ball. And the first one he liked, and the second one he changes the motion and it goes into Kawaja. Now, this is the second ball, and then the fourth one where he's going, okay, and now one's going to go into you and one's going to stay true at those stumps. And this is the first ball and the fourth ball, the same exact ball that he was like, mm, yeah, I'm going to go back to that later. Look at that. Same exact line and length. This time, finds the edge. And you know who takes the catch? Coley. Virat Coley takes the catch. The drop, out of sight, out of mind, confidence boosted, back up. Probably scores 100 later. He does, he does, he does, he does, he did. That brings Steve Smith to the crease. And this is Boomer. You know, he wasn't that excited about McSweeney. This is the guy. He's like, I want you. Goes right at him first ball. Peels, appeals, appeals. Yes, gets him. Oh, my goodness. That, woo! That's the celebration. Not there. Smudges. He's upset. Golden duck. Look at this one. Goes with the one that's just going to seam in, and it just moves so much. And I don't know if I don't know if Smudge, he moved across his crease so much that he didn't know where he was, or he just doesn't have the eyes in the bat to get, get there. Because usually, you know, protect those legs. But no, middle stump, just easy. Uh, Smith didn't even review it. Next up, we got the hat trick ball, and Travis Head comes up, and Boomer just says, I'm just throwing this right at the stumps. I, you make the mistake. Give me the hat trick. Doesn't get it, but take a look at this ball. Take a look. I, I isolated it. I spun it, and if you're enjoying this right now, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, all that stuff, because these uh, stabilizations, they do take a while, but they're so fun to do. Look how beautiful. That is unbelievable. Just unbelievable. So tight, actually tightens up further as it goes, hits the seam perfectly and stays straight right at the stumps. He's able to get just the slightest bit of wood on it, keep it alive. Now, this is an overlay of that ball to head that just went so straight and then the one to McSweeney earlier that went away from him and they're the same ball, they bounce at the same spot and then one deviates and one goes straight and again, it seems like Boomer has the ability to do that, which is insane. Let's go back to Labouchet, and he finds himself in the crease again. First ball from Boomer right here, and bouncer. <laughs> Don't get comfy. He's like, I wasn't. I promise you, Boomer, I was not getting comfortable. Because some are going, oh, I said, don't get comfy. He's like, and I'm not. I'm not. Now I'm in pain. I'm not even trying to score, man. I haven't tried to score once <laughs> this whole session. Uh, yeah, Mars is just playing. Uh, defense zero runs off 19 at that point now he's got two runs off 42 balls yeah just surviving boomers just coming at him just body blows and bouncers and ones that cut in ones that cut away there you go he got wood on that one yeah so labuchain really wasn't having that much fun in the first innings let's go to the second innings india declares with about 30 minutes left in day three and says you guys go have fun at the end of the day against boomer enjoy and boomer's like yeah yeah this is gonna be fun this is gonna be really fun they were just in the field all day and mcsweeney's up again okay cuts that one away from him big time and then that one, same thing. Those are all going away from him. And then this one finds the shorter bounce. You see that second one? Watch this. Look at McSweeney's reaction. Bounces all the way up. So he throws his arms up, leaves it. And then the very next one thinks it's going to do the same, but you had different bounce now in the third innings. And that one stays under his arms. You can see him kind of 
look like what the hell and after all those balls that were going away it was pretty obvious what was going on warner and robbie were all over it this looks like he's setting him up there rough it's a matter of time yep it'll be one that really nips back in hey guys shh. maybe he doesn't know maybe not everyone knows just be quiet about it and boomer says but yeah you're right you're right i'm, I'm bringing it in in and yep there you go just like that Four balls in to the second innings. They got their first wicket. McSweeney gone again. Tough debut. Tough debut on that pitch against that guy. Uh, yeah, just right there. No appeal. No nothing. Just a frowny face. And yeah, and watch, watch this. So that one is the first ball. It bounces high. It goes away. Next one, same bounce. And then the next one is in the same spot, but bounces much lower. And that's where he got him set up because then he throws the one that seems in. Here's another view of it. That one goes away. That one's closer but stays true. And then that one stays true but is a lighter bounce. And then he just rips it right into the pads. And this is the different setup by McSweeney. He's, he's more up in the crease. He's not as back, which is less time. And then on the left was his first innings when he got out. You're going to see he doesn't even play the movement of the ball correctly on the left. But on the right, he does have the bat going to the right spot. See, on the left, he just wasn't even there. The ball moved more than he thought. On the right, he's more up and down with it. And he's got the bat going to the right spot. He's just really late to it. And he did give himself less time by moving up in the crease. But I don't know if that was going to help him anyway. Boomer pretty good. Boomer's so good that even if he only had that one ball, I think he'd be amazing. But he's got the variations that then he can then mentally just exhaust you. And now Martin Slobuchain's back to the crease. And this is probably the last over of the day. Maybe this over and another over. Uh, he's just got to survive. Get to day two. Boomer says, uh, no, I'm going to come right at you. I'm going to come right at you. Able to block that one. And then this next one, Marnus decides to leave it. It's ripping in. It hits his pad. And he says, yeah, you're out. Marnus walks up to Kawaji. He's like, what's going on? Why do you, why do you, what, where to hit you? Top of my pad. No, I'm reviewing that. Okay. Take one with me. Did that last innings when he did get out. Uh, Marnus reviewed, took a review with him. Boomer's like, all right, awesome, dude. Awesome. Burn a review. There you go. I think he thought it hit him way higher. Interesting one to leave that ball when he's been just ripping them back in. And that is just absolutely devastating for Australia and Marnus and Boomer. Just amazing. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Thank you guys for watching. This breakdown is brought to you by the Warehouse Games, where we have created a hybrid sport of cricket and baseball. And we have professional cricketers come join us. We have announcers. We had Darren Sammy announced the first couple years. So if you're interested, you want to check that out, do so.